this is the new A1200 motherboard it's uh, been taken from an original A1200 modified to fit new features and removed uh, the RF component as nobody uses it nowadays to fit a new RGB uh, socket on the right hand side you can see there are some LEDs which shows the system if it's booting up or not unfortunately at the beginning we had some issues with the screen because since uh, the we were using a normal TV through SCART it wasn't displaying the image correctly so we decided to swap the screens to a 1084S and use composite when we started the demonstration we had some issues with the composite display uh, and uh, so we got another 1084S and uh, set it up as the first one, the composite one, so we can compare the colors since both monitors were using different inputs as you can see on the left hand side the left hand monitor the color and the image is much more brighter that's because it's using composite while the right one is using RGB and it's a bit darker and the color a bit faded out uh, nevertheless the screen on the right it's much more bright it's much more clearer and you can tell which is the RGB and the composite one while we were watching the demo Mr. Hertel was so kind of him to explain the process of producing such motherboards I can tell you the amount of time and effort he took to scan and uh, process the board it's uh, it's amazing and for the price he's asking uh, it's nothing compared uh, to the time taken to just uh, scan and uh, take out the schematic of the motherboard in fact he told us that he's doing it as a passion not for the money and this type of person I can assure you uh, they are doing uh, good things for our community to preserve technology and uh, for futures for future generation this project is not for a beginner as you need to solder a lot of uh, components parts and you are able to solder surface mount components it's uh, a nice project for an intermediate or an advanced user but not at unfortunately it's not for a beginner uh, you need at least to get the technique of soldering uh, directly on a board and uh, in order to do that you need some practice first it's uh, a very nice project to do there are unfortunately as well some components which uh, are very limited and difficult to find so before you commit yourself and buy the motherboard a blank motherboard uh, I strongly suggest that you look first for the difficult parts and uh, then if you find all the parts you commit yourself uh, to buy the board if you're interested in the project you can check Mr. Hertel or Chucky his uh, website on wordpress.hertel.nu the boards are on pre-order so you have to wait a bit if you order one and currently there is another badge being produced uh, while uh, doing this video so uh, the next batch will be uh, in a few months
Also on Chucky's website, you can uh, find additional information such as recapping and other useful tips that any Amiga user uh, can uh, find interesting in maintaining his current setup. So that's it for this feature. Hope you liked what you have just seen. May I take this opportunity to thank Chucky to visit us at the club and explain his technique. And also, uh, may I remind you to subscribe to our channel and uh, support us through Patreon. Thanks for watching. Thank you.